City transportation officials say more people are calling to ask them to install, install speed humps in their neighborhoods. City officials agree drivers need to slow down, but they say speed humps, or speed humps, excuse me, aren't always the answer. Max Rodriguez tonight follows up. It's a change in attitude from residents that city officials are noticing when it comes to speed humps. There used to be some resistance to, um, to speed humps and slowing down, and it seems like uh, you know, there's more push for it. We're certainly getting um, additional requests for it. Ever since those speed bumps were installed after the tragic death of 16-year-old Sarah Yara, the city says many people in the community are calling wanting similar speed bumps in their neighborhoods. They're getting about 20 to 30 calls a week. When we receive um, a request or a complaint um, in regards to speeding, uh, we'll do a speed study. So we go out and we actually um, do data collection over the course of a 24 hour period and we identify if they're speeding or not and uh, how pervasive that speeding is. Um, and then we also dig into the crash records. The Diamond Head Kapahulu Neighborhood Board recently hearing a measure to consider speed humps on Diamond Head Road. Many neighbors there concerned about their safety. I'm a runner, I'm a walker. I've witnessed some very bad things on that road, especially right now with the increase in the the tour buses. The city says data going back 10 years into the intersection of Diamond Head Road and Kahala Avenue did not find major police reports of pedestrian incidents, although this is specific to that intersection and not the entire stretch of road. The reality is we don't have endless resources to install um, speed humps, um, so we look to, uh, to install them where, um, where there are problems, where there is, is speeding. Alexander says the city's Vision Zero is still gathering data and community input as to where to install physical traffic calming measures, but has found it is the urban core streets, such as Baratania Street, that have high pedestrian injuries. Watch out for pedestrians. Um, do your best to take care of yourself and take care of others. Um, that can go a long way. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.